So after doing all the design of uh, the 4-bit binary adder, we finally have the final product in front of us. This is a 4-bit binary adder and we have four individual single-bit binary adders that have been cascaded and this device can now add any 4-bit binary numbers. And these are the inputs, so you input one of the numbers uh, from this side and the other input is on here and then the result is shown here. This is done completely only by using transistors. So you can see these are individual transistors and MOS transistors and there is nothing, no computer, no microprocessor, nothing and everything is just purely done using these transistors. So now we can actually take a look, look at a few examples and see that if it works properly. Okay, so now let's try and look at a few examples. I have my calculator here just for converting between decimal and binary. So let's for example try to add the number 5 and 6 together and I already know what the binary representation is but just I will show you as well so you can see at the same time. So the decimal for binary is 1, uh, 101 and we will put it here on the first input 1, 0 and 1 and for 6 we have uh, 0110 so that's what we have here and we have 0110 and this is the answer that it gives me so I don't actually know what this is so let me actually check it uh, this is 1011 and that in decimal is 11 and that is exactly what we expect so 5 and 6 should give you the answer of 11 let's try a couple more numbers here uh, 3 and 4 so 3 is uh, 0, 0, 1, 1. let me first clear everything let's try to add the number 3 and 4 together so 3 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1. and 4 is equal to 1, 0, 0. so let's say decimal and we have 4 and we get 1, 0, 0. And the answer, of course, is 7, which I do remember this one. So, actually, if we check number, the binary number for 7, this should be 0111, as you can see, this is correct. So, uh, yeah, then let's talk about some of the limitations of this. Obviously, we can only add 4-bit numbers, but as I pre uh, mentioned previously, you can actually combine two of these modules together, like this. And you can just take the carry out from here, pass it in here, and then you can add 8-bit uh, numbers. Then this part, would, this whole thing would represent the first uh, number, and then this part would represent the second one. Of course, not very practical, but this is something that you can do, especially if you want to uh, make this a part of a, a larger thing. Let's say you wanted to design a microprocessor, you can, in that case, easily do this. So. I do have that in mind. In the, in the future, I would want to make something, maybe a very simple, very basic CPU that uh, that can do some generic computations, a Turing complete machine. Uh, so yeah. Uh, secondly, one more thing. If you want to actually get these devices, I can ship it to you for the same cost it cost me. I think this costs about five dollars. So uh, if you're interested in this, I can ship it to you. And uh, let me know if you want me to make anything else. In the future and I will also be making a video uh, going into a little bit more detail about the design process behind uh, this so these actually are um, well combined gates that have been uh, just made by combining the transistors in specific ways so I can go a little bit more into detail about this part and also if you're interested on how I designed this PCB so let me know about that